does this rank in the NBA in terms of duo? Automatically, MJ Pippen. The Chicago Bulls have won their sixth NBA championship. Then obviously, Magic Kareem. The Lakers are winning it. Three in six years. LA comes to Boston and wins the world title. Shaq and Kobe. The Los Angeles Lakers have made it three straight. Are y'all ready for this? And I'm going to take a lot of heat for this. The Nuggets are going to the NBA Finals for the first time in franchise history. What have you guys all said to each other about what it's going to take to get you to where you ultimately want to be? In the game of basketball, you need a closer. And to me, Jamal Murray is that guy. As a duo, Nikola Jokic and Jamal Murray could make the claim that they are having the greatest two-man run in NBA playoff history. That is quite a statement I understand. So first, let me back up that statement with just solid stats. Together in the 2023 NBA playoffs, Jamal Murray and Nikola Jokic have buzzsawed through everyone with averages of a combined 57.9 points, 16.9 assists, and 19.1 rebounds per game. The Nuggets as a whole have gotten a lot of attention for their team style of basketball. Nikola Jokic has had all eyes on him as the NBA's two-time MVP. Mike Malone has been given credit for his coaching, but really, when we look back at this Denver Nuggets team, a clear picture will be left for us. Nikola Jokic and Jamal Murray as a duo, if they are able to close the door as NBA champions, have had one of the greatest two-man playoff runs in NBA history. So what's up guys, Mike here, and I know, again, huge, huge statement. Looking at the overall stats among NBA champions, these are the 10 greatest two-man duos post-merger. And going through this list, one thing clearly stood out to me, other than Shaq and Kobe living up to the hype as the top dogs. If that's who you agree the top dogs are, because I think my rankings might be controversial, let me know down below. Regardless, what also has stood out is, of course, the fact that Jamal Murray and Nikola Jokic more than deserve to be here. And it is here where I want to say, I think the numbers do not lie. I think we should be putting a lot more respect on Jamal Murray in particular's name. And I believe that the reason the media has not been treating him as a star is that simply the man was injured. He lost out on two years as a potential all-star. He lost out on two years as a potential all NBA player. On this list of the greatest duos of all time, we have only one other name that is not a hall of famer. And that is Chris Middleton. And I'm sorry, I didn't make that judgment. Basketball reference has him listed at one point percent but the point remains here jamal murray is in hall of fame company if not for jamal's acl injury it is very likely he'd be at least a two-time all-star and at this point looking at his nba playoff stats we are watching extended greatness but before we continue guys i want to give a huge shout out to seat geek for sponsoring today's video and right now i am in miami and i use seat geek to get tickets for game six of the eastern conference finals because as you're about to see seat geek is hooking us up seat geek puts all the tickets across the web in one place to make sure that you get the best deal and as you can see on the app each ticket is rated on a scale of one to ten and here you're going to want to be looking for the green dots green means good red means not so good each ticket by SeatGeek is backed by their buyer guarantee and as i said before SeatGeek has come through for you guys they've hooked us up they are giving us 20 dollars off our tickets if you use the promo code 2k mike that is 20 dollars off your first purchase if you use the promo code 2k mike make sure you click the link in the description down low to download the SeatGeek app Guys, I use SeatGeek all the time. I am really using them to see game six of the Eastern Conference Finals. Hopefully it is a historic one. Use 2K Mike to get $20 off your first purchase. Thank you again to SeatGeek for sponsoring today's video. Link is in the description again. And now back to the video. Jamal Murray somehow used the 2020 regular season to get back into shape and then amazingly has played the best basketball of his entire life in the 2023 playoffs. The Nuggets were certainly not guaranteed to win a championship this season. Yes, they were were definitely the favorites going into the NBA Finals, but that was because they had just swept the Lakers. Let's keep in mind, in the regular season, this was a 53-win team. If we were to go back 10 years to the 2013 season, 53 wins would have landed you the sixth seed in the Western Conference. Sixth! Six, 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 six. 
But headed into the 2023 finals, the Denver Nuggets were seen as the absolute favorites. And that is because of how incredible Jamal Murray has been. 27.4 points, 6.8 assists, and 5.7 rebounds a night in the playoffs. Those are numbers of an NBA star. And what is truly incredible is that Jamal is averaging 7.4 more points per game in the playoffs than the regular season. If Jamal Murray had averaged his playoff numbers this year in the regular season, he would have been at least second team all NBA, if not first team all NBA. He has also proven to us that he is this guy, that he is truly this talented as a basketball player, that this is not some one-off run. Because before his injury, remember, in the NBA playoffs, Jamal already proved that he was a big time performer against Donovan Mitchell in the first round in 2020. In game four, Jamal had 50 points in a two point loss that put the Denver Nuggets down three to one against the Utah Jazz. For all we know, Rudy Gobert might never have punched a Minnesota Timberwolves teammate. He might have learned to become friends with Donovan Mitchell if the Utah Jazz had won this series. Only in game five, Jamal Murray went out and scored 42. And then in game six, the man scored another 50. And to truly solidify that this was a duo to watch out for. What did Nikola Jokic do in game seven? Oh yeah, that is right. He had a game winning series winning basket. Let's watch this. Jokic against Gobert. Backs him down. Gobert stays on his feet. Tough shot. Made it. Jokic. I still say that Nikola Jokic does not get enough credit for this. He won a playoff series on a shot. Do we not talk about it because it was against Rudy Gobert? Not sure. But at the end of the day, there really is a simple formula for the greatest duo in NBA history. And that is one, having an MVP type player like a Shaq, who is your main star, but then two, having a secondary star put up a stat line that in a different year may have won him finals MVP himself. The Nuggets seemingly have that formula in Nikola Jokic and Jamal Murray. The numbers do not lie here. On the stat sheet, they have outperformed all time duos such as Irving and Malone, Bird and McHale, and Jordan and Pippen. Those are, of course, some very serious names. And Jokic has been given that respect as the MVP. We know he is having an all-time run right now, averaging a triple-double with 30.5 points, 13.4 rebounds, and 10.1 assists per game. NBA history will remember Nikola Jokic if he wins a title. But where among this list of the NBA's elite tier duos does Jamal Murray fit in as an elite tier wingman? Well, let me ask you a question. If 2001 Kobe was the star of the 2004 Pistons or the 2008 Celtics, two teams that both won championships, would 2001 Kobe have been their MVP? On the stat sheet, the answer would be yes. As if we compared 2001 Kobe's playoff stats to the entire stats of the 2004 Pistons or 2008 Celtics, we find that Kobe would easily stand ahead. And that is no disrespect at all towards the Pistons or Celtics. I, of course, love the team orientation of those championship rosters. The point being here is that you can see just how special it is to have your second best player put up stats that on other NBA title winning teams would have made him their on paper MVP and among recent top tier secondary stars. We can also see that this is not always the case. Some duos are led by a true MVP and then a true secondary star. If Chris Middleton was on the 2004 Pistons, he would not have been the surefire MVP and looking at the the stats of 2012 Dwayne Wade or 1991 Scottie Pippen. The same could be said, but as for top tier wingmen like 2020 Bubble AD, 2017 Steph, or 2023 Jamal Murray. You see what I'm saying here? If we compare Jamal Murray's 2023 playoff stats to those of the 2004 Pistons or the 2008 Celtics, on paper stat wise, it would be Jamal Murray who would take home the MVP of these teams. And that is a very hard statement to take in as again, in the top 10 duos in NBA history, we only have one non-Hall of Famer. And then we have Nikola Jokic and Jamal Murray. But the thing is, we have to just look at this one single playoff run. We can't let past success or narratives change what we are watching with our actual eyes. And the only thing in my eyes that is holding back Jamal Murray is his team's lack of playoff success, so he does not have the respect of an NBA champion. And the fact that he did not make an all-star team the last two years, so in the media's eyes, he's not an all-star type 
type player. But take away those two things and looking at the best duos of all time, post-merger, Nikola Jokic and Jamal Murray don't just belong on this list. They amazingly stand out towards the top. To me, this should scare the rest of the NBA because I think we need to start looking at this duo as a duo that has the potential for true greatness. One championship is amazing, but as LeBron James knows, for a dynasty, not one, not two, not three, and that could be where the Denver Nuggets are headed. We're going to see because Jamal Murray is just 26 years old and Nikola Jokic is just 28. It is almost impossible to give proper respect to a playoff run like this in the moment. This will end up either being the most random duo run of all time if Jamal Murray does not step up and become a big time player, or what I think will end up happening as long as the injury bug does not pop up again, is what we're going to see after this year is the true emergence of Jamal Murray. We've seen guys in the past take playoff runs like this, take playoff success like this, and come back with newfound I am the champ energy. And there is no doubt, without Jamal Murray playing at this level, the Denver Nuggets could not succeed at this high of a level. And there's also no doubt that we could be looking at, of course, an absolute monster run from a Denver Nuggets team that as an organization seems set up to go out and dominate the Western Conference for years to come. The core four of this group is all around the same age. Michael Porter Jr. is just 24. Aaron Gordon is just 27. And the Denver Nuggets have all four of those players signed until at least 2025. They are going to be at the top of the Western Conference unless injuries take them down, but I'm hoping that injuries do not. I think in the next few years, we are about to see Jamal Murray do a potential Steph Curry light impression. As remember, Steph Curry actually did not make his first All-Star game until the age of 25. Five years into the league because of his injuries. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And finally, to end this all off, congrats to Ryan Travis for winning our big giveaway, for winning tickets to either game four, game five, or if there is one, game six or game seven. Ryan, just contact me on Twitter at Mike Coors. You are the winner of our big giveaway. We're going to make sure that you get hooked up, my friend. You will either be in Miami, Denver, or we will figure something else out if you can't make the games. Just hit me up on Twitter at Mike Coors. Again, congratulations. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications if you like today's video. If you're already subscribed, thank you so much for supporting. You're awesome. We all know it. And as always, have an awesome day and cue that music. If you're still here while the music is cued, here are two videos I think you are definitely going to enjoy. I mean, personally, I think the one on the left might be more your style, but the one on the right looks pretty awesome too. Click one, let me know what you think. And again, have an awesome day.